In this week, we'll discuss about how to hack web application. Web application penetration testing is the most commonly used security testing technique for web applications. Web application penetration testing is done by unauthorized attack internally or maybe externally to get access to the sensitive data or may sometimes change the data stored inside the web application. A web penetration testing helps end user find out the possible vulnerabilities for a hacker to access the data from the internet, find all the security of their servers and also get to know how secure the web hosting site and server are. Like network, for web application, our first steps is also information gathering and scanning. We already discussed about the information gathering part previously. Now we'll discuss about the scanning for web application. For network scanning, we use the tool like Nmap or Nasus. For web application scanning, we use the tool like DIRB, Uniscan, Nikto, Vega, Acunetics, etc. Now I will show you few tools. Now suppose consider a website testphp.vulnweb.com as our target website or web application. testphp.vulnweb.com So now our first step is to find out the vulnerabilities by scanning this particular web application. So now first we will use the tool DIRP to find out all possible directories of this particular web application. So open terminal. and use the command dirp followed by the url http colon double slash test php dot vuln web dot com hit enter and it will search for the possible directories for this particular web application. We got the result and see we got all the directory inside this particular web application. Uh, we got uh, common.txt file and uh, admin directory, CVS directory, and images, picture, secured. We got all the directories which is inside this particular web application. Next, we'll use the tool Nikto to find out the vulnerabilities in this web application. So to use the tool Nikto, first we need the IP address of this particular web application. So by using the command host, we can find out the IP address. Host test php dot vuln the web dot com. So you got the IP address. So you use this IP address in the tool Nikto. Nikto then dash host specify the IP address 
than the IP address of this particular web application. Okay, we got the result and see some vulnerabilities listed. Target IP is uh, this, target host name, target port is 80 and uh, server is nginx. Retrieved export by header this, the XSS protection header is not defined. This header can hint to the user a uh, gen to protect against a some form of XSS. So all the vulnerabilities which are available in that particular web application are listed here. Now we can also use the tool Uniscan. Now just by typing Uniscan we can get the help of Uniscan and see all these options are available h for help then dash u specify the url and dash f list of urls dash b uniscan to go to background dash q enable directory check dash w check file as e enable robot.txt file and sitemap.xml file check dash t enable dynamic check dash s enable static check dash r enable trace check dash i uh, it search in bing dash o search in google dash g find out the web fingerprint dash j server fingerprint so now suppose I'm going to scan the same web application testphp.vuelnweb.com using the tool uniscan with some specified options. Uniscan then test you specify the URL testphp.vulnweb.com then I specify the option dash q w o d s r g j we got the result it find out all the directory flash admin images pictures secured and it also check all the file and also save the html report into the folder report testphp.vulnweb.com.html now finally we'll use the best tool Aquinetics to find out the vulnerabilities to that particular web application. Open the tool Aquinetics. Here is my tool Aquinetics. Go to web scanner and Put the web application URL http colon double slash test php dot vuln web dot com which is our target web application. Now we can select your profile for blind SQL injection. You can use uh, this option CSRF dictionary at file check file upload. All these options are available for the time being. I am using default option then click on start 
it will take some time to complete the scan once it complete the scan we will get all the vulnerabilities which is available in this particular web application here is the result scan is completed its total sent 55277 request and got some vulnerabilities and it basically divided all the vulnerabilities in three categories one is high then medium and low so it got some high vulnerabilities uh, 106 high vulnerabilities are there and blind SQL injection cross-site scripting cross-site scripting verified uh, macromedia demo ever remote SQL injection wait password all these high vulnerabilities are present then 66 medium vulnerabilities are there and 9 low vulnerabilities are there and 31 information are also there So this way by using different web application scanning tool, we can find out the vulnerabilities present inside a particular web application. Thank you.